And the reason I'm running is because I believe this. Now more than ever, our counties deserve the same leadership at the top that is expected of them in their counties. And so what that means is we've got to make sure our counties have the resources they need to be effective. I've been involved in the Georgia Republican Party for 30 years. I've served as a precinct chairman. I've served in various levels of county leadership. I've served in various county or district leadership, including being a district chairman, and I've served on the state committee. I've seen where we've been, but I have a vision for where we need to go. And that vision means that we need to be winning elections in 2024. We can ill afford to continue down the path that we are right now within the Georgia Republican Party. And so we have developed a four-part strategy. It's called the BASE strategy. It's bridging the gap because we, as Shelley has just indicated, need to be united. Our grassroots, our donor base, and our elected officials together have to work so that we can move forward. And so the A of our program is accountable finances. The Georgia Republican Party should be run like a business. It means that for every dollar that comes in, we should be accountable for every dollar that goes out. And you, our stakeholders, need to know where those monies are coming from and where those monies are being spent, particularly in your counties. It's easy for the Georgia Republican Party right now to tell you they've spent money in your county on a get out the vote effort, but they can't tell you exactly how much money has been spent. You deserve to know that. The S of our program is supporting our county parties. I told you I came from the grassroots. I've been a county party chairman, and I know that it is so very important that our county parties have the tools that they need to be successful. What does that mean? It means that we have to make sure our counties have training, and not just campaign sidekick, and not just how to knock on doors. We've got to make sure that you know how to fundraise, how to recruit candidates, how to ensure that you are getting out the vote in your county the way it needs to be done. Because let's face it, Republicanism in Georgia is not a one size fits all. What we do in my county and White County is not gonna work in Floyd County, it's not gonna work in Cobb County, it won't work in Liberty County on the coast or in Ben Hill in Southwest Georgia. We have to tailor our get out the vote efforts to each of the 159 counties in our state if we ever expect to be effective. And the E of our program is the one thing that as Republicans we're supposed to be doing on an everyday basis. It's really the only thing we're supposed to be doing, and that is educating and engaging our voters. And we do that in a couple of ways. One is minority engagement, and I know that's a very cliche term, but the Georgia Republican Party is doing it wrong. Here's what we do. It's election season, we knock on the doors of our, our minority communities and we say, we need your vote. And then we never grace the doorsteps of their communities again. Shelley brought up a good point. We've got to be having conversations. My granny called them kitchen table conversations, where we talk about the things that are important to our minority communities. We listen more than we speak. That's why God gave you two ears and one mouth. And then, then we share with them how our party policies, our platform, aligns with the things that are important to them. And we invite them to come have a seat at the table and be a part of the big tent. That's how we're supposed to do minority engagement, but it's not how we do it currently. We also have to have a robust absentee ballot chase program. I'm gonna give you a number. In the ninth district where I live, in the runoff, we knew there were approximately 88,000 absentee ballots that were going out. We also knew that we had literally about a week and a half to chase those because the um, window for the runoff had been shortened to four weeks. So we knew we had about a week and a half to chase those. I'm proud to say in the ninth district, we were able to get a 99% return rate and we only had 88 ballots that were not returned during the runoff election. That's the type of aggressive absentee ballot chase program we need throughout the state of Georgia. And it's not what we did during this election because Georgia Victory said they found absentee ballot chase to be ineffective. We can ill afford as Republicans to leave any ballots on the field. We need every vote to count and we have to be aggressively pursuing those. And then finally, I'm a mom. I have two daughters. 
one's 22 and one's 20. And we have some pretty candid conversations in our household about politics. And after the last election, both of my daughters looked at me and they said, Mom, the Republicans were outplayed and you were outspent. And I said, all right, talk to me, girls. What do you mean? And here's what they said. Mama, we could pick up our phone on any given day. We could th scroll through all of our varieties of social media. We could look at YouTube. We could look at Hulu. It didn't matter what we looked at on our phones. The Democrats' message was out there. They were talking about their candidate, and they were talking about their party. Where was the Republican Party, Mom? And they're right. We left votes on the field because we didn't target an age demographic that really does align a lot more with our principles than what we like to think that they do. And we did it when we could have spent pennies on the dollar to make it effective. Instead, we as a party opted to do mail pieces that ended up in people's mailboxes three to five days after the election was completed. And that's not an effective way for us to reach demographics, particularly when we're targeting young people. And so we've got to listen to our younger demographic. We can't continue to think that they don't have any clue what they're talking about. They don't align with our values. They don't think the way we do. Because they do, they want somebody who will listen to them and not tell them they're always wrong. And so that's our base strategy. Bridging the gap, accountable finances, support for our county parties, and engaging in educating voters. And I believe that those things are implemented, that we can change the face of the Georgia Republican Party. My name is Rebecca Yardley. I'm looking to be your next chairman. I would love to earn your vote and your support on June 9th through 10th when our convention convenes in Columbus. And you, um, I thank you for your time today.